It's every anti-Apple fanboy's dream. One man went berserk in an Apple store and broke thousands of dollars of merchandise. I just want to show you the video. So uh, Jimmy did pause it during the video that someone screwed him over. Uh, this man who uh, said this in French said that the this is apparently due to a refund dispute. He says, yep. Apple is a company that violated European consumers' rights. They refused to reimburse me. I told them, give me my money back. They said no. So you know what's <laughs> happening? This is happening! <laughs> and then what he's holding in his hand is a small steel bat, it's described as. It looks like it's just like a weight, oh, like a thick cylindrical a weight. Mm -hmm. And he's walking around, slapping everything down. Uh, he was later arrested, which is a shock, um, after considering considerable damage. And, uh, yeah. Well, this is the thing. They don't sell, well, first off, um, I don't know what he, I watched the whole thing again, and he <laughs> took a long time. Again, it was very I'm slow. not sure what he thought was gonna happen, but if I'm gonna go in and smash 17 uh, iPhones and then four, he smashed a couple laptops and then two iPads. Eventually, you gotta move quickly and then get the hell out. I mean, Here's Apple will let you do a lot and, of things in their stores. Like you can bring a goat in, you can use the internet all day. Really? That's that, I thought you couldn't. That's why I didn't bring my goat. <laughs> okay. Ever. He, yeah. Then then again. You don't really have to move that fast because the average person in an Apple store isn't necessarily <laughs> that physically imposing. And also the employees don't really get to you that quickly either. Oh. <laughs> they will be with you. Do you have an appointment for me to tackle you? Because I'm a genius and my time is genius precious. Will no, her no, all heroes don't wear capes, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> Nor do they watch their carbs. So again, where did this happen again? I forget France. The this is in France, right? And so actually, again, I watched in the whole Dijon, thing. Dijon, France. In a couple of Dijon. He's getting um, the mustard out. Were, nice. The security ran out, and they don't have any weapons. Again, I have this, I have only this world view of my own country. So I was like, oh, this guy's going to get his ass kicked. They're going to stomp yeah. him out, and they're going to be like, we have the right to do it because of merchandise, which, by the way, nobody buys any of the merchandise that's sitting out that's display stuff. Do you go in an Apple store and say, I want this laptop that has all the fingerprints on it? No, you're not getting that one. It so, still costs money, JR. It costs money, but that stuff is... He's just trying to hurt them, I guess. Yeah, and if know? that's something, he didn't get very far because it doesn't hurt them. And he wouldn't leave the damn store. When he finally did, security is wearing red vests, and they're putting their belly in front of him like this. And I was like, what are they doing? It's the whole time. I was like, shove by them and run away. It was so weird. I, it was like, I was like, I'm waiting for the prank to finally be done because... Again, there's this polite security system. And I was like, this is the lovely. Whole thing what a was, lovely way to get arrested was by guys who throw their belly in front of you. <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to take my time doing this. Okay, here France. we go. I will be apprehended now. A lot of us, I would. the thing it taps into is that so many people want to do this. I and don't. Do you? Really? Have the, you I've, ever felt the urge to just is, smash everything in a store? Yes. Which store? This one, the, the <laughs> Apple store for sure. In Dijon, France? In Dijon, France, that particular one is very smashy. There is an entire category of YouTube channel dedicated mm -hmm. to smashing uh, yeah. electronics. I love it. And That it is they so, paid for. That they paid for, for sure. Yeah. But this is like, the, like reality porn as opposed to staged porn that's in, you know, like people overacting. This is like that tech destructo porn that's actually taking place in the real world. Does this satisfy your destructo porn lust more or less? More, because it's in a realistic environment where he's doing this. It's not someone, when I see the will it blend folks blend an iPhone, I see them pull it out and put it in and I'm like, oh, they paid and put it back in again and pull it out again and mm -hmm. put it in again. But no, <laughs> morning. Yes. Um, but then they blend it. I know that they've paid what money. What are you talking about? <laughs> When people blend iPhones, the oh, little blend phones, okay. they take iPhones and they blend it, and, and, and it breaks it, it smashes it in, in beautiful slow motion. That is staged, and this is 
And that is a staged way to tap into my desire to ruin things that mm -hmm. are frustrating because my phone today was really slow. I just want to throw it up against a wall and I get to see that happen. But to see someone actually act out how I would do it if I got that frustrated. You would just... do this faster and you would run away faster. I know, which is why he's so impressive. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of like confidence. Yeah, but I'm not endorsing that behavior mm -hmm. whatsoever. Don't get it twisted. Should have hired the uh, Clinton campaign to smash those iPhones. Am I right, Kim? Come on. Huh? Who else reads the news besides me? Am I right? Come on. There's so much more Young Turks content if you're a member of TYT. Old School, Aggressive Progressives, those are all new shows. You get Post Game where we talk about our personal lives a little bit more. And then you've got live interviews. It's all ad free. Plus, you get the whole two hour show. I know what you're thinking. This is huge. And it kind of is. TYTnetwork.com slash join to become a member today.